Hello there. I want to give my usual happy opening. I want to give that frilly music that always plays. The reminder that today is a good day. That I anything can be done. No matter how bleak the situation. This is a different podcast that I want to do. Maybe maybe tomorrow I'll redo this and talk about the usual news, but I would like to sit here before you today and Yeah, I'm just a simple man who goes to things like the movies to enjoy to escape from the world and enjoy the art form that lies before us that many people put time and effort into creating and lovingly put effort for and I enjoy their work sometimes once in a while you end up seeing a piece of work that's lesser and that's not that great sometimes I watch films and certain emotions come out some of joy and some of sad. The sadness varies. Like, for superhero films, which are my favorite of the kind, whenever I see a film that I do not like, or just gives a disapproval, it comes in many forms. Some of it is just straight anger. From, like, Spider-Man 3, a film that came off such a great sequel, that came off such one of the best movies that got me into enjoying the genre that made me love the the idea of having a character to be come forth live and to do whatever he can to help protect the innocent that, and to be seen with a sequel after that that just not only shames the original <laughs> sequels before it but of the source material of disrespect it just makes me mad there are one times of disappointment and just displeasure. Most recently, there was Fantastic Four last year I went to go see, a film made entirely just for the sole reason of nothing more than just to keep a license, to try to make more money off of a dying brand that they clearly do not care for. No love was put into that film, no care, no effort. And so it's while I was angry, at the end it was just lack of enjoyment and lack and complete disappointment. This is a different tale right now. I have literally just come back from watching Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. I had many questions going in. Why would Batman and Superman care to fight? What would they have their quarrels over? What differences would they make? Where would Lex Luthor fit in? What is his plan? What does he hope to gain from angering these two angry beings in order to create such a conflict? What was Wonder Woman's goal here? Why is she around? Does she contribute much to the conflict? Does she try to resolve things in her own way? Does she have her own motive? I had many of these questions going in, and had the same questions going out. Not only that, but I had more questions on top of that. Such as, is Lex Luthor just an absolute nut? Is he just whiny? Why was he, what did he want out of this? Is he just straight up weirdo? Why did they make him this way? How did he quickly find, gain access to all of these, these products? Is like, where was he during the events of the last Metropolis movie? Where was, where was Bruce Wayne during, how did, <laughs> How long has he been doing this whole Batman gig? And how long is Batman actually from doing stuff in this movie? There's a lot of questions that I deem to myself. But most of all, what did I watch? What happened? What was any of this? What goal was this end game of this movie supposed to be? All that happened in the movie was loads of talking for a good chunk of it, which is fine, but no conversations were had. Many spotted lines that of like, of like one-liners slash kind of 
is like the meeting is like of some dialogue and I'm I'm absolutely flab um, flustered as trying to describe because the reason why I'm so and off the completely dismay of all these conversations it's because they aren't long conversations at all but this see this movie has a million scenes in it and over a good three quarters of the scenes are about five minutes long until they cut to the next scene then you get to the next scene and then it's completely completely different completely other circumstance you see superman just go back and forth back and forth saving random people how he even manages to save these people i don't know in that record of a time or even realize something like that is happening and how he doesn't even try to, to be there as fast as expected. And how did Lex Luthor manage to get access to all the information that he could at the end of the movie? He just seemed to the, understand and know everything. And Batman's main motive was because of the events of the last film, but it seems specifically from the... from the, the uh, And the main... And the film is called Batman vs. Superman. It's been building it up, but... Batman and Superman barely have any confrontation against each other. Before they fight, Batman and Superman, in costume, have one encounter. And they don't even talk. It's just a... Superman says something, Batman says something, Superman flies off. They have an encounter as Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, but they don't know each other at that point. At least I assume one another doesn't. Maybe they have intrigued. And then how Bruce Wayne finds out some certain things is also left unclear. Again, with the editing of the stuff... So all the scenes are just done way too quick just to cut away all the important dialogue you can sit down and talk these things out you can understand where these things are coming from I've had some just random nightmare visions which make no sense once I was just watching this random scene as like when they were Gal Gad which had Bruce Wayne talking to Princess Diana I think no, Diana I think that's her name well the woman who's Wonder Woman so they're talking for a bit, I needed to piss, I got out of the theatre, came back, next thing I know, I see Batman in a desert fighting a bunch of military dudes with Superman emblems and being attacked by also these flying demon things. Where did this come from? Did this just happen? What did I miss? And then Superman came up and is like, he's now torturing Batman and he's almost killing him. And then Bruce Wayne wakes up, he's suddenly having lightning around him and Flash is there, giving him a message from, I guess, the future? Why is Flash here? What is going on? Why is he doing this? And then Bruce Wayne wakes up again? What happened? What the hell just happened in that scene? And is it never brought up again? Is ba is this why he's trying his best to prevent Superman's existence? Is this the motive? Is this happening? What the fuck is going on? What is actually happening? Why did that scene exist? And they don't slow down to bother explaining it. They It's somehow fast, yet nothing's happening quickly. And then just some things are done here, there, there, here. If you watch one of the Batman v Super all the Super Batman v Superman trailers, you can obviously tell the things happening in the movie. But even then, that's fine because when you see the scenes in in the film, they'll have more context around them. They'll have more dialogue flowing the scenes finally. At least that's what I thought was supposed to happen. But no, instead, the fucking scenes just happen exactly as they're framed. Nothing is else learned from those. This entire film is based around trailer shots. The entire thing is just shots for trailers. The entire thing was every single one of those scenes is just either that or some clever recreation of other com comic book like shown things. It's like obviously a lot of the Batman stuff is taken from the Dark Knight Returns comic book, which is one of my favorite comic books, which I applaud for using that source material. But again, it just takes them out of context and just throws it all over the place. I just... I'm not sad. I'm not angry. I'm not disappointed. I'm just confused. Absolutely confused. What did I witness? What did I watch? And it just went on. Everywhere I expected the film to go, it does that. And then it just... Everybody's opinions just flip on a dime. Alliances are made for no reason at all other than just the convenience and listening and the fight just, between Batman and Superman just ends and then it's just resolved. Spoilers, but hey-ho, it's Batman and Superman in a movie. It's like, while they want to fight each other, obviously things can better work out in the end, otherwise there won't be more movies. And then a bigger thing happens at the end of the movie, which goes exactly the way you think it would go, and then it just 
and and then after that's over, the last part of the movie just drags on because you know exactly what is going to happen. Because if this thing doesn't happen, then the rest of the DC universe can't happen. And then you just see it go on, and then what you expect to happen does happen, and then the movie ends. It just stops. The movie just stops. It just doesn't explain anything. It doesn't slow down. It doesn't... I'm going to films to, for, for, to tell a story. Was this a story? Was this some avant-garde art film that I didn't understand? Was there some deeper meaning behind this? Was there some weird morals? It kept throwing around all this imagery, all around all this like symbolism of God and all that jazz. But it just... I just don't know. I really don't know. Oh, God. Maybe it's something which is deeper and I need to understand more. Maybe it's... Maybe I just need to go back to it. What I'm going to try to do, hopefully... At some point, I need to see this film again. I need to understand a second time through. It took me two viewings to get my opinion on Man of Steel confirmed down the first time I saw it. This one, I just need to see it in its entirety again and just understand what happened. Just put together what everything was. I just need to know. Because after that, if nothing else, I can't see another Superman film like this. I can't go back to the DC Universe. This is their attempt to try to bounce off to create their own cinematic universe. More movies to come from this. But I'll be honest, I'm not sure if I want to continue in this, if this is where they're going. If, I'd say if they're going, if they're implying a direction, but I don't know what that direction is, because they didn't say anything. They didn't explain anything. If anyone out there wants to go see the movie for themselves, be my guest. Then please let me know, what did I just see? What did I just witness? Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.